all right welcome to a quick tutorial uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to live stream your zoom meeting 2020 during this COVID pandemic without having the pro edition of zoom so I'm gonna go through this quickly pretty short tutorial stick with me I'm gonna go through the three things that you're gonna need and, uh, and also suggest some cameras maybe a microphone that you also might want uh, and kind of go through this and, uh, and get this figured out to perfection. So um, the first thing that you see right now, this is a software called OBS. All right, OBS can be found also on the internet at obsproject.com. So check them out. You'll download it for your respective um, software, whatever Windows or Mac or Linux, whatever you're working with. Okay, um, and then once you have that, you'll also want to have a YouTube account. Okay, you'll also want to have a YouTube account. All right. Um, once you do have your YouTube account, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and set up your stream by clicking on Go Live. So top right hand corner, Go Live. Okay. It's going to pop up here in just a moment. Once it pops up, you're going to click on New Stream. Okay. So you're going to call this uh, Zoom Tutorial. All right, and for this, I'll keep it private. But if you have it scheduled, what you could do is you could either make it public and then you can schedule it for a later date, or you can keep it private and you can actually invite people to watch it, okay, or unlisted where that's where you would be able to invite people with a link to come and see this. So for this, I'm just going to keep it private for now, <clears throat> um, add your settings to it. Create your own custom thumbnail. I think this would be great for maybe not teachers per se, but maybe coaches who are trying to get their information out there or anybody really trying to get their information out there to have it be a live stream. And you do not have the pro setting for Zoom software. Uh, no, it's not made for kids. Um, so I'm going to create stream. Okay, so this page is going to be pretty important. It's going to have some important stuff that you're going to need to know for the actual live stream. So going back to your OBS going over a couple settings you have your scene so call this whatever you want this is my one scene and the scene is whatever you see in the screen this is that one scene uh, within this scene I have the video capture and this is actually going to be my second display or this here this video capture is actually my webcam I'm using a Logitech HD C920 that'll be in the description below check it out okay I also have my display so you could have if you're working with multiple displays which I am for this tutorial and which I typically do for my lessons I am a teacher um, I actually will be broadcasting to my second display so this is where I'm actually going to be putting my zoom meeting and I'll, I'll explain how to do that in a moment and then for the audio you can always use the audio from the camera which is fine I happen to have a Blue Yeti that I used to do some voiceover stuff with and um, have it plugged in. Hopefully it's sounding pretty sweet right now uh, and you can adjust that setting as well. Okay, So those are the main things. Uh, this you don't need to have here. If you don't want to have that, you can obviously just hide it. Okay, Pretty simple and, uh, and I will be hiding it here in just a moment. Uh, but for the most part, the most important part of the setting is going to be over here right hand side settings or you can actually go to the top left file settings either way but once you get here you want to find the stream section okay once you find the stream section for the service you can pick where you're going to stream it to okay twitch youtube for the sake of this it's going to be on youtube uh, server primary server okay and then the stream key is clutch okay so once you have your stream key you're going to copy it you go back here and you will press control V to paste it we'll click apply click OK and in YouTube you should be able connecting streaming software to start preview okay all right you need to click on start streaming okay now what I would do is on OBS you'll click on start streaming once you click on start streaming it connects with YouTube okay and it'll have a preview of what your actual meeting is going to look like 
okay so excellent can excellent connection it's loading okay there we go looks like you're ready okay so before we do anything else what you're gonna want to do before you click on go live you obviously want to set up your zoom okay so for this I'm gonna start setting it up I'm gonna get rid of this video capture device I'm gonna open up my zoom okay once my zoom is open I'm gonna click on do meeting okay all right now the camera is using my setting I want to join with computer audio All right so I want to join with computer audio I'm using computer audio if I try to start the video it's not gonna work because I have it open on my other software so what I would like to do now I'm not gonna cancel meeting so what I would like to do is go back to my video capture device and I am going to remove it okay for the sake of this yes I want to remove it why because I want to be able to stream so now if I click on start video my video is popped up over on my zoom meeting all right so once I have my zoom meeting set up okay my stream is set up I have everybody invited into my meeting who I want to be invited into my meeting, I can then be ready to broadcast to the world, right? Typically what people are saying is if you check down here on the bottom left-hand corner, okay, bottom or bottom right-hand corner, should say more if you have that pro edition of Zoom, cool, great. Um, you could use obviously same setting, go ahead and do that. But for this, you don't have that setting, have OBS, you have YouTube, you have everything that you need uh, from here I will go to YouTube okay and I will click on go live all right so it's going live I have people in my zoom room it's live it's I mean there's gonna be a small lag that's fine low latency I'm sure you could change some settings up uh, but what you really have is everything being displayed from that second monitor so what, what I would do is I would try to minimize these the best I can and I would do that by I don't know how to do that but I think I'll go taskbar settings and um, I don't know, somehow unlock it whatever the case is anyway doesn't matter does not matter you have your zoom meeting you're broadcasting it to the world once you're done broadcasting it right you're saying your goodbyes to everybody okay awesome that was a fantastic meeting if you guys have questions comment below all the while you could have people managing your chat box here okay managing your chat box so uh, anyway the way that you would exit the meeting you would go to your zoom okay you go to your zoom meeting you click on end meeting okay once you click on end meeting for all okay then you can click on end stream or in OBS you could click on stop streaming your streaming is going to stop okay and once you're done here you click on end stream and I mean you're probably gonna want to wait a couple of seconds until the end of this here um, but at this point here I'll just click on end stream and end okay so once you end your stream you have a live quick video uh, you can edit it if you'd like to I've never done that you don't have to do it either uh, but it is a pretty quick and easy way to uh, to get this done so hopefully uh, you guys liked it if you did do me a favor subscribe comment below if you have any questions please let me know I'd love to help you out just comment and uh, and I'll see you guys next time all right appreciate it take care oh and if you're gonna buy this camera I got an Amazon affiliate link below help me out okay COVID-19 zoom rock and roll best of luck go get them peace